Welcome to your Twisted Tea best post race show ever. Thanks to our folks at uh, Twisted Tea. I'm not going to give you one of these because how old are you, Russell? 18. He's 18 years old. Uh, introduce yourself. You are on the weed show. Your name is? Russell Kukiri. 914. 914. Yep. Uh, second national ever. Yep. And you got some points today. Yep. yep. Earned some points. Yep. 25th overall, 20th the first photo. Okay, it's getting rowdy here at Southwick, wow. apparently. I don't know. Police are speeding through the pits. Hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Um, so you're one of the local guys? Yeah. Yeah, I live like yes. two hours west of okay. the water. So did you grow up here? Get behind. Get behind so we can see this. Did you, did you have you ridden here a million times? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This, this Lauren's is like, super fan back there, everybody. I yeah. know this track very well. Better yeah. than any other one on the circuit, for sure. Okay, so two things. First of all, just give me the brutality today. You said you crashed on the last lap of Moto2? Yep. Yeah, that Dude, was how smoked and like, done are you at that point? So I was like doing real well, and then yeah. there was like nine minutes to go, and it just like a truck, a truck just hit me, and I was like <laughs> sitting through the holes, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then whatever, I was like just hanging it out. My dad putting on the pit board. He's like, let's go finish strong, and I'm like, dude, I'm trying. Yeah. And like I felt like I was gonna pass out. I got like wicked dizzy, and then. Whatever, I crashed it right before the finish line, and like I was trying to pick my mic up, and like I couldn't even see it. Like I barely got off the track, and but whatever, I was able to salvage a I think 29th in that one. So I wanted your story because that you could see everyone managing energy, except Deegan. I don't know, Deegan's like right, superhuman. Yeah, yeah, those those dudes aren't real. Yeah, him and Chase. Chase, yeah, not next real. Level. Next Everybody level. else, but even Chase, I think chilled for like 10 minutes to yeah, have that in yeah. reserve. I don't no, know what yeah. Deegan does. Anyway, that's good perspective from the track. The other thing I want to ask you is, so you ride here all the time. Is it, everybody says the national is way different at most tracks. So, is, this, this, is this one way different? Well, today was way different than it yeah. looked in years past. Even like a couple other dudes who yeah. have done it a couple years back uh, said it was different. It was like, this is probably the roughest national here I've seen in like a couple years. Okay. For sure. Okay. Um, it was, it was similar, but there was a lot more like chop here because like all everyone out there is like a fast guy versus yeah. like an NESC you have all age groups so it's okay. more like just big rollers and yeah bumps. yeah yeah so you kind of can like just flow around just like rock rock um and like kind of double all the big bumps going yeah. up the hill and whatnot but like today it was just like, like yes this and there's yes. just holes in them and you're getting kicked and whatnot. You can do. yeah that was that's kind of the only difference and then obviously on an NESC there's there's more lines because like okay. everything kind of just blew into one. Uh -huh. And NESC, it does get blown out, but like, you know, the inside wind rows and the outside wind rows, they stay there versus like today and a couple of corners, the inside just went right to the outside and turned into one. What is a wind row? Like Did you say wind row? Yeah, like the dozer, like the inside dozer. The dozer burn. The dozer burn, yeah, wind row. The wind row, and you'll go all the way out there. I don't know what's going on behind us. You'll you even use that to find smooth lines. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Tricks yeah. of the trade at Southwick. Yeah. And, and then yeah. it was just my dad was just putting out smooth lines and I'm like just trying to open my eyes and like look for smooth lines and I'm like looking and I'm like well there really ain't any. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there was obviously but they were hard to get to. That's the analysis we wanted. Let's get to our post race press conference and uh, we'll chat a little more. Good job, Russell. Thank you, man. Yep. Um yeah. Um it's a track that kind of I kind of liked since last year and. Um, I had a good first moto. I struggled a little bit to pass a uh, chance. I was like a little bit behind him for like 15 minutes. And when I was second, I then was obviously like seven, I think seven seconds. So it was kind of a big gap. And I, I finished second, so I was okay for the first moto. And I was pretty good in second moto. Um, was leading almost the odd moto. I, I got stuck a little bit in the lappers, like three, four laps to go. And Joe and Aiden catch me really quick. And um, yeah, I fell. I tried to, I really wanted to, to uh, pass Joe again and obviously fight for, for the win, but I crashed in the, in the last lap, and yeah, I gave, I gave everything. Like, the last three laps, were, we were all pushing really hard, so it was, was a nice race. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I had to prove a point when I came here. Uh, after last year, um, kind of the narrative was I couldn't ride a sand track, so I had to come here and show everyone I could. So, And it was a big motivator. I feel like if I could win at this track, I could I, that proved I'm pretty much unbeatable. So, uh, yeah, I had to put out put out a good race here uh first of all sorry sorry to be late here um yeah like <clears throat> beginning of the season like i had um my ankle the ligaments were torn so kind of like in a situation where if i dab my foot it's kind of game over um but yeah we fight through that and obviously like 
didn't spend time on the bike because of the ankles and stuff so adjusting the bike and stuff i didn't do anything about it so like now um i don't know each weekend i feel like i'm on a new setup and wasting my first qualify session um to today like that hit hard because i had um 26k pick so but <clears throat> i mean fitness seems to be okay kind of proved it on the second moto which i'm i'm pretty stoked because off the bike i'm doing a lot of stuff so yeah now i have to get a good start and uh, try to fight with these guys um we haven't we've kind of been discussing really what it actually is because at first we just thought it might be bruising or like something like that or maybe pulled the muscle but we're kind of for how long and slow it's taken to heal it's um we might get an mri or something because it could the muscle could be torn or something like that we're not really 100 percent on what it is so we're going to use one of these breaks to go and uh get an mri or even after this one just because we're not 100 percent sure what it is because we thought this break might help it and get it back to a hundred percent but this each time i'd go train and ride and use it I'd just kind of go back to that same spot then i would heal up and then drop a bit so it's kind of been a bit annoying in this breaks so i thought i'd go a lot more but no excuses we still got an overall win so uh definitely make it a lot easier for 100 percent. yeah i mean i <clears throat> i was kind of off the pace honestly in both motos and i mean i was good at the beginning of the second moto and the first moto but then i would kind of lose the, the pace in the middle of the race so i uh i just wasn't i wasn't riding the track how it was meant to be ridden and uh, i finally started to get a good flow going towards the end of the second moto uh better late than never but yeah i, I just kind of started picking different lines and I don't know this it kind of all came together for me so i uh yeah put a good charge in and um yeah i felt strong toward the end there was it hey let's stay where i'm at we're in a good spot we're still going to come away with the points lead uh what was going on there Nah, the, the points lead i could care less out there and when you're 27 minutes into the motor i think no one really <laughs> cares about that you're hurting you know i'm, I'm trying to race forward and, and i mean if you've seen how many moments i had uh, it's safe to say I was pushing and giving it my all. So, uh, yeah, I just did everything I could and I just come up a little short. Yes, I love this. Okay, we're going to wrap the show up. We've got uh, Kyle Chisholm here who's checking in for his flight tonight on his phone. And in classic Chiz fashion, what you, you flew first class here. Hey, yeah, Delta. It was mm -hmm. like 100 bucks to upgrade. And I'm like, yes. I'm doing it, whatever. You know, yep. I'm cheap and I did it. That's big. But I'm Frontier on the way home. 100 bucks for the whole flight. <laughs> frontier on the way home. Okay, that is Chiz Chizzing. Um, Here's something you might not have realized I noticed. I think you were the last guy to get lapped in the second yeah, moto. You got bailed out. I know. Were you happy with that, actually? One last lap? Honestly, you okay it with that? did make a difference. Shane okay. was the next one. And I saw I him. I was trying to catch him for a while, and he was too far to get him. So I was so, like, yeah, go ahead, Chase. So you were the last guy to get lapped. Yeah. You, sir, didn't get lapped. I, no, I was on a mission. I was like, dude, those blue flags are waving. And I was dude, looking. They wave like, them forever. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, I don't see anybody. I ain't getting lapped. Yeah. James yeah. and I were looking out the window after the moto. I'm like, dude, somebody's still out there. And I'm like, Macarath. Yeah, it was me. Bro, you just yeah. kept motoring. Yeah. I, dude, I mean, I, I've i been struggling. And it's yeah. like, first moto I got lapped like by a long ways. And so it's like, the, the gold changes. Yeah. And that one, it was like, do not get lapped. I, I get lapped. Honestly, yeah. for you us, did it. for like, uh, you know, you don't do better. And I, I always don't do better too. But yeah. for when you're in that range, like around the 15 range. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jay, those guys are so fast. I mean, they're lapping what last year yeah. like up to 10th, I think, at yep. one point. And sometimes, like, for us, it's like, hey, don't get lapped. Because if you don't get lapped, that means you're going to be in the top 15 or yes. whatever. Yes. A lot of times. So, yeah, like today, that would, that would have been a good general goal. It's like, don't yeah. get lapped. That's the line yeah. in the yeah. sand, yeah. literally. Uh, real quick, I'll let you go. And you got to go to play, too. Uh, you've raced here a bunch. What was the track like today? We had so much rain last week, a lot of people theorized it'd be harder, choppier. Kind of was uh, it when I hear it? It kind of was. Yeah, yeah. Like, there, there were edges hiding under the soft, yeah. the soft patches. Yeah. And that's that's what was really hard is like, not only were the edges, but there were, I don't think I've really ever seen rocks here, especially yeah. that big. Oh, and wow. There were some big rocks up there. Wow. Yeah. 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 I feel like because it was wet, like all the rain coming yeah, in, yeah, yeah. it got kind of deeper. So it got down to even more hard yeah. stuff. So the bumps yeah. were like bigger and deeper yeah. and harder because yes. of the bases. Yeah. I still gotta give you credit though. You yeah. could have given yourself two less minutes on this yeah. track, but you no. weren't doing it. No. Were you smoked? Uh, I I was tired, but it's like the whole moto. It's like I'm, 
I, I'm not going as fast as I want to go. Like oh, that's okay. what that's what I'm trying to get to. Yes. And so I'm frustrated, and that's like I ain't getting laughed. It's like I like it. Jeremy Hands doing riding on the last stuff. Like I'm like, dude, I'm still not on. Watch out. <laughs> I yeah. saw it. I looked out the window. I'm like yeah. somebody's still hammering. Yeah. Um, last thing for you. We say Chiz is gonna Chiz. We know you've been around forever, but I didn't know until we did a feature on TV today that this is your 20, you started in 2004? Did a race in 04, yeah. 20 years, bro? Wait, do I die? Oh, You're good, yeah, okay. eat your food. See you guys. Thanks, sir. Mine, His flight's got, he's gotta go and he's gotta eat. Thanks, Shane. Um, 20 years, bro. Yeah, so I did Steel City in 04. I raced Loretta, and then, you know, back in the day, like RC, that was yeah. the race we turned pro at. Yeah, it's like, in Canada. And then I did Canada yeah. for two years. Yep. I got hurt, and I had a scar on my arm. That's Canadian. That no, this was after, this was the beginning of 04. Oh. I did this. Oh, okay. Healed up. I raced Loretta. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm turning pro. Did my first pro race in yeah. Steel City. About a month later, just all season was riding. My arm never healed right, long story short. Rebroken, so I was out for like four months again. So that's, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you at least so need then, to race then SMX. Then I Canada. Okay? Oh, okay. That's why I went Canada. You got to race SMX for sure, because you can go past September of 2024, and you'll officially have been 20, 20 years, years as a pro. Yep. Pro. That's chis chising. Last thing, how do you feel physically right now? Honestly, pretty good. I'm tired. Okay. Like, I rode really tight the first moto, yeah. like just upper body. Like, yeah. didn't use my legs, my core, like I yeah. should have. So my like shoulders and stuff are, are pretty tired. But honestly, I feel pretty good. Like, I've been luckily been healthy for quite a few years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is you know little stuff here and there, but for the most part, people don't understand. Like, when guys get hurt and stuff, and you're on the couch. It's, it's, it's one thing if you just sat on the couch, but you're also like getting injured and recovering yeah. and you're on the couch. Yeah. And everybody else is getting better. So you lose a lot. You lose it a lot quicker than you gain it. Then, then, then you can gain it back. Sad but true. So it's been healthy for a while. It's always yeah. important. And so yeah, physically, honestly, it's, it's for me, it's more a man, like management of managing my recovery and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I feel pretty good for this. I mean, I'll be 37 this year, but I'm not, I, I would say, I wouldn't say I'm in that much more shape than like my prime, like say 25, 26, yeah. whatever. But I don't feel like I'm that far off of it. Um, I don't know. Like, you, there's a lot of guys. Look at Eli and Jason, and they're in their younger 30s, and they're still ripping. So. They are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only I'm only 36. So <laughs> going for like 20 that. years. Okay. All right, get your flight, yeah. Chiz. Thank you guys. That's it. Thanks, Twisted yeah. T, for back in our post race show. Uh, I'll just break down the action up front. Um, Hayden Deegan, I don't even know what's going on here with these late charges but you know he knows it he might not even know why but he knows he can do it and that changes the game completely tom biel absolutely totally had the overall and second moto in hand after uh deegan crashed and he couldn't get it done he said he got blocked by a lap rider but the bottom line is he had his shot couldn't seal the deal joe shimoda gets a moto win deegan wins the overall and this 450 class this is serious now this is not just take southwick out and jet lawrence is dominating again we're going to the halfway mark Three points between three riders. Hunter's been darn good. And Chase Sexton finally got that breakthrough. I stalked Jet. I passed him. I beat him. I know Jet's not 100%, but you know how the racers are. Sexton's walking out of this track saying, he's not listening to any of that. He feels like he can beat these guys. And we're going to Redbud. It's going to be spectacular. See you there.